CEO of Anna Cole and filmmaker Editi F. Young compares Beyonce with Wally Shoyinka in a generational relevance conversation and some people are not having it. Here's what he said. Just had a weird moment when someone said Wally Shoyinka is the greatest living Nigerian writer and my internal loyalty disagreed because Beyonce never quoted Uncle Wally Shoyinka. Generational relevance has an outsized impact in the perception of greatness. The Nobel Prize had huge relevance on my parents generation. For the generation after mine, Beyoncé has bigger impacts. Cultural relevance is way different to institutional recognition. End of quotes. <coughs> okay, so I don't know who um, the best writer is in Nigeria mm -hmm. or whatever, but I don't understand what this guy is saying. Is Beyoncé now what we're using to measure who is a great writer or not? Because if Beyoncé does not quote you... Oh, you're relevant. Oh, you're a relevant writer. Mm. I don't know what he's on, but for me, this is nonsense. Wow. Okay, yeah. so for me, I feel like he... He probably did not pick the right person to make the comparison, mm. but and I get where he's coming from. Right. So something he said at the last part where he said um, generational, generational relevance mm. is different from institutional recognition. So we mm. cannot take um, the fact that Wale Shoyinka is an icon, he's someone people look up to, his works are being studied. I mean, he's respected, right? You can't take that away. But mm. now... If you want to talk about the influence that he can still have on some certain things. Now, you know, you mentioned cultural behavior. So cultural behavior is not necessarily politics. It's not necessarily how uh, uh, we see things from the angle of appearance. It's how the youths of generation. now, people mm. that are the working generation of now, see things and what they embrace. So if a, do you know if a Naramali comes out to say something now, and a Wallach Shoyinka comes out. I hope we don't get that battle, though. But if it happens, you know that is going to be a huge conversation. Why will it be a huge conversation? If that happened like two years ago, Nayamali would be slammed left, right, center. But there's this influence that we've all agreed that Nayamali has built that seems intoxicating, and it's still there. So there will be people that will come out to say, Baba, go and rest, your time is gone, and this is it. But it still doesn't take away the fact that he is an institution, and you cannot take that away. So I get where he's coming from. It takes a lot of breaking down to be able to, it, it cannot go in just tweets, you know, but I feel like I get exactly where he's coming from. I totally from. disagree. I get where he's coming from. <laughs> I get the generational relevance, but bringing Naira Mali and Wale Shoenka, that's I was a, making a... No, no, a, I understand. I understand. So I'm saying that <laughs> even if a Naira Mali mm -hmm. to put out a tweet about something that is a societal issue mm. and a Wally showing her issue. Amongst those that are educated and are smart, I'm not saying that Mali is not educated, but I'm talking about the elites. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the people. Those that know better. Those that know better mm. will still go with the Wally showing her before they even think about Naira Mali. Honestly. So even when Naira Mali is making sense. Even when yeah. he is making sense. Now, you know you mentioned something now. You said those that know better, which is why sometimes when the conversation starts and they say youths are not being given a chance, it is the same youths that will come out to tell you that the youth no, don't no, even no. know well, better. No, 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 talking about, it's not talking about youth, um, youth or older people. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm a youth and mm. I know better if mm. Walesha Inka is speaking and in Naramali is speaking. So this is not about age. And we are Our Mali has done. You know, I didn't mention anything about who is saying something yeah, right yeah. or wrong. No, we totally but in, Hold on, I'm saying in the grand scheme of things, I say, you remember I said, this is not about what our parents think. Yeah. or how they feel it should be yeah. done. It's about what is attainable yeah. now. Yeah. So if a Naramali comes out to speak on what is attainable now, and we know he makes sense, mm. um, he has not said anything, and then a Wale Shoyinka comes to speak on that same issue based on what was attainable when he was growing up. I'm sorry, there will be a huge conversation going on. I'm not saying this person will get more support or not, country, but there will be a great conversation going on. This is one on. country that regardless of our generation, regardless of our exposure, we mm -hmm. still believe so much in culture. Right. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So even Wale Shoyinka is talking about what was that attainable mm -hmm. then, trust me, it is still applicable to all of us because mm -hmm. we respect culture. Mm -hmm. I mean, apart from I'm not arguing culture, what you're saying. I'm I saying like it is part of the conversation. Say, okay, yeah, give the youth a chance. Give it. Like 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 honestly, no matter how you want to give the youth a chance, let the youth do this. Here. The elders well, are the is you. Oh. What a child can see sitting, let me sound like Peter Ducci now. What a child can, can see, see standing, standing on the mm. tree. An elderly yeah, man who sits lying down. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I guess where he's coming from and I guess where you are coming we from. It's the Malian vibe. Thank you.